Thank you, God, for the breath in our body, God. God, we ask, God, that you will forgive us, God, for anything, God, that we thought, said, or done, God, that was not pleasing in your sight, God. God, we ask you to help us to be better, God, today, God, than we was on yesterday, God. God, we ask that you will create in us a clean heart, God. God, we ask that you will renew the right spirit in us, God. God, we first lift up our leaders of this house, God. God, we lift up apostle love and lady love, God. God, we ask that you will touch their bodies, God, from the front of their head to the soles of their feet, God. God, we ask that you will move on their behalf, God, like never before, God. God, we ask that you will continue to cover them, God. God, we ask that you will continue to lead them, God. God, we ask that you will continue to direct them, God. And God, we ask, God, that you will touch each minister of this house, God. God, we ask that you will touch their minds, God. God, we ask that you will continue, God, to keep us in our right mind, God. God, continue to guide our footsteps, God. God, continue to use us, God. God, continue to use us for your glory, God. God, we ask that you would come in this service on today, God. God, we ask that you would have your way on today, God. God, we ask that you would move like you want to move on today, God. God, we ask that you would get in the musicians on today, God. God, we ask that you would get into the praise team on today, God. God, we ask that you would get in anyone reading the scripture on today, God. God, we ask that you would get into the preacher on today, God. God, we ask that you would move like you want to move today, God. God, we ask that you would have your way on today, God. God, we ask that you would shift your weight today, God. God, we ask that you would see God, the anointing God, that makes preaching and teaching easy on Sunday, God. God, we ask that you would move like you want to move, God. God, we thank you on Sunday, God. God, we thank you on Sunday, God. God, we ask that you would touch God, the cars on Sunday, God, the, the ones that's driving to the church service on Sunday, God. God, we ask that you would get them here safely on Sunday. God, we ask that you would move out any accidents, God. God, any car accidents, God, any dogs coming into the road, God. God, any tears running into the road, God. God, we ask that you would keep them in faith, God. God, so your people get here to the house of God, so they can get here safely, God. God, so they can get here, God, ready to praise you, God. God, ready to worship you, God. God, ready to do what you want us to do today, God. God, we thank you on today, God. God, we love you, God. God, we love you, God. God, we love you, God. God, we love you on today, God. God, you deserve the glory, God. God, you deserve the praise, God. God, you deserve the honor, God. And God, we're grateful on today, God. God, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, we lift up our unsafe loved ones, God. God, we ask that you would touch their minds, God. God, we ask that you would touch their spirits, God. God, we ask that you would save their souls on today, God. God, we lift them up to you, God. God, so that you can have your way in their life, God. God, we give them back to you, God. God, we lift up our children, God. God, we ask that you will keep them, God, in their right mind, God. God, we ask that you will protect them, God. God, we ask that you will lead them and guide them, God. God, while they're away, God. God, where they're in school, God. God, we ask that you will guide their footsteps, God. God, if they're friends, God, are no good for them, God. Remove them out the way, God. And God, we ask that you will let our children be a light. Let our children be a light, God, that shines, God. God, so their friends can ask, what must I do to be saved, God? God, we thank you and we praise you, God. God, we thank you, God. God, we give your name to praise, the honor, and the glory, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, God. At this time, we're going to have the scripture reading by Sister Anaya Allen. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your words. My soul knows it very well. Greet our 
greet our family members, amen, the ones that you didn't ride with. So that way we won't be sitting and looking around, amen. We're going to already know who's here. So at this time, greet, you, greet someone that you didn't come with. That way we, we can go ahead and get in the service, but we be done already spoke to each other, amen. excited about being in the house of the Lord today? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. Amen. Amen. He is worthy to be praised. Y'all ready? Come on. Put your hands together. Come on. Oh, 
Anybody tried him to know that he's good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, don't fool me now. I said, you truly tried him. Yeah. And you know for yourself he is a good God. Look at your name and say, neighbor. neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. We serve a good God. Oh, my God. That was the wrong neighbor. Look at somebody else and say, neighbor. neighbor. A good God. Deserve a good praise. Come on, I gave you the highest praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. He is good. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. When I woke up this morning, amen, I knew he was good. Yeah. Uh, come on. Amen. When we came over the dangerous highways, come on, I knew he was good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When I saw that the circle was not broken, come on, I didn't know him. I knew he was good. Hallelujah. We serve a good God. Amen. Amen. A good God deserves a good praise. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know about y'all tonight, but I got a good old dance in my feet tonight. Oh, I said I got a good dance in my feet. Hey, I came. Come on, come on. I came to dance tonight. I came to rule tonight, Pastor. Why? Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done to me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. We thank God for saving us all tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, amen. Let's bless the Lord just a little while. Come on. Amen. Glory to God. Let's give the praises up high. Come on. We're going to do that. Come on. Bless the Lord with me. Come on. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Put your hands together.
Thank you. 
Father, we thank you 
for this offering that we receive. Father, we thank you for yet bringing us here today, God. Let us travel over the day this hour. God, we thank you for the speaker of the hour. God, we thank you for our apostles and our neighbors. Oh, God, we thank you for everyone that was able to get here tonight and everyone that was able to give and the ones who didn't have. But God, we thank you for the night and we thank you for the offering. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.
forgive me, but I gotta take my shoes off. Because I already feel the Holy's presence in the Holy Spirit. My God. Let me get the preliminaries out the way first. First, give an honor to Apostle. in 
and they was like, huh? And so the Holy Spirit started revealing some stuff to me, y'all. He said, sometimes the baggage can be that you've been in a box. You allow people to box you in, and it becomes baggage, it becomes weight on you, because you He said, with us women, I don't know about y'all, but some of us love expensive bags. And when you first get that expensive bag, you're like, mm, I'm not feeling this up. I'm going I'm to be cautious. I got to make sure I don't put nothing in here to mess it up. You know, That's when it becomes your brand new bag, right? And so then the older it gets, you like, mm, get that bag. And then it becomes what? Baggage. Because you start putting anything in it. You're not particular about what you put in it no more. So you all, y'all can be seated if you want to. But it's our innate behavior, you all, to carry things. And you know what he said with us women, you all? We carry our emotions. Sometimes men will never understand. He said we carry children for nine months or less. We carry our purses, as I said before. Then we carry items. We tend to find a bigger bag because that wasn't enough. To carry the stuff that we had. <laughs> he said, and then this is what we do, you all. And y'all have to forgive us some time. Because it's our innate behavior to carry. Sometimes we forget that God sent us a helpmate or a man or a companionship. Because a lot of times we women trying to carry everything and the man got to say, baby, I got it. All right, all right. <laughs> you know, because we do have some real men. Come on, come on. <laughs> And he gave me an uh, equation. He said multiplication and subtraction uh -huh. is the only time that you carry. Right. Right. And so guess what? I'm asking the Lord to multiply mm. or endow me Come on. with more power, yeah. with more anointing, yeah. with more wisdom, yeah. with more knowledge, yeah. with more understanding. And then he said, I said, he said, subtract. I said, subtract the problems that continue to weigh me down. Mm -hmm. Even if it's, if it's not for my destiny, my purpose, or my will, you have for my life. Come on, Pastor. Subtract. Subtract. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. That's good. And then he was reminding me of Psalms 3 and 3. Mm. The Lord is the lifter of our heads. Yeah. So anything. Or anyone that you or me are allowing to keep our head down, subtract it, oh. and it be your will. Yeah. Because listen, you all, a lot of times, even in relationships, whether it's a friendship, whatever, a lot of times, you can tell when a relationship isn't right. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nobody ever have to say anything. Nope. That song is written all over your face. You don't have to say a word. Come on. It's written all over your face. So listen, you all, he was reminding me of something. He said, when you hardly ever see anything, when, when something, I'm trying to see how to put it in words. But for instance, anytime somebody have to broadcast a thing, 
You better make sure you, you know it's a bad. Because I'm, I'm reminded of in the old days before social media and all of this came about. Marriages, family, all of that. You, I mean, it was bonded. Because you didn't have to prove nothing to nobody. That's right. Show you right. That's right. Show you right. That's good. And so because you didn't have to prove it to the public, it was working for God for the good in private. Because everybody didn't have to know, oh, yeah. it ain't working. It, I mean, oh, they bragging. They this, they that. Right. You know, so I'm learning, y'all. The songwriter said, I may not see it, mm. but I hear it. Come on. Ah, here. So a lot of times we don't see a lot of things with relationships when it's a bag. Uh -huh. I'm calling, I'm, I'm comparing the bag to a relationship right yeah, now. Yeah. So a lot of times when it's a bag in a relationship, you don't worry about, people don't really say too much because why? That's something that's done in private. But once you start announcing everything on social media, yeah. you put them in your business and your business become baggage because you're Relationships start getting weighed down because you're too busy trying to prove something to the public. Hey, real good. So you all, he gave me first Peter five and seven. Casting all your cares upon him. For he cares for you. So think about it, ladies. A lot of times we sit here and try to explain things that you would never be able to under explain. And really, nobody would really try to kind of understand if they didn't go through it. Oh, God. So you all. Yes, Lord. Mm. And he told me, you all, he said, the only way anything can grow, think about baggage. Baggage, it stunts your growth. Yeah. It stagnates. Yes. It causes a lot of misery. Mm -hmm. And you even, and, and sometimes you disappointed with your own self and you don't even know why. But he said the only way anything can grow, it must be a deposit. Oh my. So listen, you all, and he told me this. He said the man must put a deposit, but the woman causes it to cultivate. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes, Lord. My God. Y'all, I'm still talking about baggage. Because when a woman has a, have a baby, mm -hmm. how she know that her body has reset? When she see the blood. She got to see the blood. After that, after birth comes out, that is the indication that that body has been reset. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Preach it. And I don't even know why he's taking me here. But it ain't for me. But, you know, it said a lot of times we are just used to the age of the bag. Mm -hmm. And it becomes bad. That's even in relationships. Because you've been in something for so long. It becomes bad. I can talk about.
about me. Because even in my relationship, even with my husband, and that's why I tell a lot of people, in a marriage, give it five years. One year, two years, it's not enough. Because it's going to still feel like baggage. Because why? Two people trying to become one. But then when you start learning each other, it starts becoming the bag. It just becomes a bag. It comes new again, y'all. Because I'm telling y'all, I, I couldn't stand my husband. Come on. <laughs> Y'all let me tell you, every weekend the police was at my house. Oh, oh, was. Oh, every weekend. My family can vouch, y'all. But I'm telling y'all, it was baggage at first because it was two trying to become one. But guess what? That's why you got to cash your cares on the Lord because he cares. Yes, Lord. 
And I said this last, what, Sunday. We don't know what we're saying yes, Lord, to. Because with God, knew if we knew what we were saying yes, Lord, to, y'all, we would have dropped the bag a long time ago. Instead of going through the process. Mm. And you know what? I'm being completely honest with y'all. Some of us, y'all know, when it comes to a relationship, mm, it's hard right here, but uh, <laughs> children, y'all forgive me. But when it comes to a relationship and that other party leave you with to carry everything, that's a hurtful thing. And listen to this, you all. And so then I said, I'm, I'm serious, I was just talking to God, and I said, God, to be completely honest, I love my children, they here. Yes, yes. I said, but sometimes when I look at me and I look at them, if I knew what they were going to be and what was going to be birthed out before, I said, God, some of us would have wished we would have did things the right way. Yes, you got that right. That's right. <laughs> because a lot of times you can't take what becomes baggage from your children and don't realize that you were once the baggage you looking at yourself. And I said, not only that, I would have been conscious of who I had the baggage with. Yes, sir. Come on. But you know what? That's what the house of God need. They need honesty. And a lot of people don't want people truth. Because a lot of us so used to 
to malfunction and, and dysfunction. When God deliver you from a reset, a lot of times you end up going right back to it. Uh, and you don't realize it's worse the second time than the first go round. And y'all, he told me, he said, a lot of things we, we I love, it wax cold. Mm -hmm. And that's why this reset is necessary. It's necessary, you all. Mm. And so he told me, he said, to tell you all, it behooves you. All right. Ah, shit, I'm high Yes, she am I see. It behooves you to reset. Reset, reset. Oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, she. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, ask you all what causing or cause your back to become baggage. Y'all, this conference is for deliverance. Yeah. 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 Along with some beatitudes, right. 
bring back you five in its entirety. He said, then you can see what's causing the bag to become baggage. But what you are replacing it with cannot be seen. So y'all think about this. That that you see is temporary. All right. That that you don't see is eternal. Yeah. You don't see love. You just feel. All right. You don't see faith. You just feel. And you see it.
and sat on me about three times. Pastor, that word that you released in this house, I don't want the people to miss it. The Lord said to tell you that that word was a word of freedom and liberation. Listen, that was a profound word. And I heard the Holy Ghost say that that word unlocked so many things for so many people in this house. And I heard the Lord say that even as you were speaking, deliverance began to go down every road. I didn't want to come behind you, but I just got that old sheet here. He 
equipped you for everything that you need to walk on this journey. If they don't like how you rock, they don't like how you rock. Who cares? When God called you, he didn't ask for nobody else's permission. He didn't ask for nobody else's endorsement. God said, I called you. I chose you. Before you ever knew that you would walk in this ramification, God called you to this. He said, I chose her for this. She is predestined for this. So all the naysayers that's talking, I hear the chitter chatter. I hear the talk. I hear the talk. Let them talk. You ain't got to run down nothing else. But God said you ain't got to run down nothing else. God said, as a matter of fact, while they're talking, I want you to see it as free advertisement of where God's taking you to. Because he's going to blow your whole world up, girl. Y'all ready for time to tell? Now, the word was Simon said, what now? Hallelujah. So we're going to do Simon said one more time. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to go back to my seat. I'm going to have one of my people go put my flats on. I'm ready. Throw your hands up and say, God, I'm ready. God, I'm ready. Tell them again, say, God, I'm ready. ready. One more time for the Holy Ghost, God, I'm ready. ready. Now listen, we're going to do something and we're going to do it corporately. God, get ready to bless you, girl. Very misunderstood and very stereotyped, but God don't bless your socks off in not many days, said the Lord. Simon said, Hallelujah. Ah, oh, I said, 
say, come on, open your mouth and shout hallelujah. Open your mouth and shout hallelujah.
because I've been quitting you right now. And the Lord said to tell you, I'm putting even a fire in your husband right now. It's going to consume. It's going to burn up some things that you've been praying for. God said your family is going to sow at your feet. Put in your hands. You ain't seen nothing yet, woman of God. Keep going. Somebody put your right hand and keep going. Somebody put your right hand and say, keep going. One more time, I'm say, keep going. You can't stop now. No matter how you want to stop. No matter how the enemy tries to talk to you. Tell you, Lord, these people get on my nerves. But keep going. You can make it. If God did it for me, he can do it for you. I said, if God did it for me, he gonna do it for you too. Open your mouth and shout, yes, Lord. Hey! I'm trying to have a side. He said, I'm putting them in your hands. It's going to be something you want. It's going to be something. The vision that he gave you. You ain't going to work hard for it either. God said, it's yours for the asking. I'm not going to love a sequel. It's yours. And Pastor, somebody shout Pastor Dempsey. I haven't seen you in years. But when I saw you, I saw an angel walk behind you. Angels don't walk with everybody. I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, what type of angel is that? So you got to give me some clarity on it. Just to let y'all know, if God don't tell you to say it, you don't say it. If God don't speak it for you to speak it, you clutch your mouth. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. But the Lord said to tell you tonight, the angel of healing is about to take place. Prophetess to sheep, uh, to Keisha, when you come, Pastor Delane, when you come, will you come quickly? You have to be careful, but I want you. that you can't do my work sick and afflicted and the Lord said your work is not finished there are work there's work for your hands to do thank you Jesus and you have to finish it this sickness is not to death but the Lord said, live and not die. Live and not die. Live and not die. You got to live. You have to live. You got to make it. Wow. Push, come, 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 come. Stretch 
to a body, straight to a mind, straight to a spirit, in the name of Jesus. And it is so. I say clap your hands and shout, it is so. And so it is. Everything about your body is about to live. Move up, 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 And the Lord said to tell both of you, he said that the Holy Ghost connection is about to impact the world. That's what you designed it to do and God said it shall be in the name of Jesus and no devil in hell can stop what he has done for you. The Lord said, this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous. And I said to the Lord, I love both of you. My sisters in need. And I thank God for you. I dare you to clap your hands and tell the Lord thank you. I'm not tired on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're grateful to God. What the Lord has done in this place. It is the Lord. It is the Lord. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. And we tell the Lord thank you. said tonight to tell you, you increase is yours. The spirit of increase shall hit your church. And the Lord said to tell you that building is about to expand. It's too small already. And the Lord said to tell you family. Somebody shout family. Family is going to pack your house. Not only your family, but glory to God, assistant pastor, your family. God said, I have not forgotten the promises I have given you. The promises are still good. And nobody can stop the promises that he has for you. Many people, many, many mouths are in the ministry. And the Lord said tonight to tell you, don't you put your hand on it. Don't you put your mouth on it. He said, but do my work. Do the work of the Lord. Do the work. And I will handle the rest. And the Lord said for the next 30 days, the next 30 days, before you walk into your edifice, Take your shoes off and anoint your feet. Because God said that is holy ground. Your praying is not in vain. Your fasting is not in vain. Everything, God said, I'm going to put everything in place. And the Lord said to tell you, tell your husband to sanctify himself. Don't stop praying for what he needs to sanctify himself. Any day now, God will fill them up with the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You need the Holy Ghost. You want to look at somebody and say, you need the Holy Ghost. If you ain't got the Holy Ghost, you need the Holy Ghost. It's going to keep you out. If you want to be kept out. Oh, somebody shout thank God for the Holy Ghost. Let me say this. 
say this? Because I got to say it. Dancing is good. Running is good. But baby, you need something. You got something. You need something that's gonna keep you. See, I don't want to talk about this kind of stuff. If you really want to reset and release the baggage, you got to have the Holy Ghost. Say yes. I can't get no help in that. So I'm telling you, amen. That's my message to the world. That's what the Lord has charged me to tell people. Yes, because shall he, if the promises of God is gonna come. But baby, I'm telling you, you're gonna need something else. You gonna need something more than a dance to keep you. From falling. Good God Almighty. So we thankful tonight. Um, we are so thankful. Thank you, Jesus. And so we're grateful tonight again for even Pastor Toshiba tonight. Come on, let's thank God for her. Come on, let's thank God for her. Thank God for her church coming along with her. Praise the Lord. Tonight, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank God, Amen, for Amen, Pastor Delane and Amen, Assistant Pastor, Amen, tonight. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God, Amen, for Pastor, Amen, Amen, to Keisha tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Hallelujah. We thank God for even the host of this women's conference. Come on, let's thank God for our elect lady. Praise the Lord. The Lord is pleased. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. And we're so grateful tonight. Amen. Thank God for these anointed musicians tonight, y'all. We got the best musicians ever. I came to tell you. Because, amen, praise the Lord. 
I heard today that the Lord of God that uh, 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 she was miserable. But I thank God tonight, amen, that I thank God that she's free. Yeah. Who the Son set free. I just want to tell somebody who the Son set free. I ain't stuck here. It's free and me. And I'm so grateful. Y'all just know how you I ain't scared of the devil. So I want to let them know that I, I heard what you said. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And I'm so grateful. Amen. I'm so grateful. That's it right there. Give a praise, Master. When you free, you just free. That's love. 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 That's love.
So let's go. What in the spirit room about that? She's healed, she said. Come on. 
Come on now. Just 
to hear that we didn't have to plan a funeral. But we come to celebrate what the Lord has done. We used to sing a song, see what the Lord has done. You want to count your big blessings? Jesus, give us traveling mercies on the dangerous highways. We buy deers and dogs and tickets tonight, even as we travel tonight. 
We glorify you. We praise you tonight. And if God meet us back here tomorrow night, but let the service go a little higher. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you. And we praise you. And we love you tonight. And so on the count of three, we're going to give God the highest praise. And you are dismissed. One, two, three. Hallelujah. You are dismissed tonight.